Hi everyone, welcome back to this open level flow. This is gonna be a much slower flow, thinking about movement, thinking about breath and movement matched up. By no means does this mean it's a less challenging class. I think that sometimes slow flows are actually more challenging. But the point is to not get us into the sense of challenging versus not, but it's to allow us to slow down enough to feel what is going on in the minutiae, in the details. Those moments of moving and transitioning from posture to posture, how can we give ourselves the space and the time really to stop and feel what is going on that's really critical to um, developing a very advanced yoga practice? Advance sometimes is thought of as being able to put your foot behind your head or standing on your hands or pretzel pose shapes and, and those are advanced asanas, physical postures. But there's a lot that's going on behind the scenes mentally and in mind. And the level of focus that we're able or not able to achieve, I'm just fixing my wire here, um, is indicative of where we are in our, in our practice. A beginner student has difficulty quieting the mind. They just have less practice at it. Whereas an advanced practitioner not only can do headstand, for example, but might be able to do handstand or something very simple like downward facing dog, will hold it with absolute concentration, complete mindfulness in the moment, and the ability to focus on deepening the breath and connecting with a higher sense of consciousness. You know, even though it's downward facing dog, it's an advanced pose because of where their mind is at. So that's the sort of groundwork I wanna lay here for us as we go through this class. If you haven't warmed up yet, as always, please pause this, hop over to one of my warm up videos and get that done and out of the way so that you are more present in the body and of course, safe. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start somewhere near the top of the mat. I'm gonna ask you to bring your feet mat distance apart, a little bit wider, and put a little bend into the knees, get soft, roll the shoulders up, back and down. And on an inhalation, we're gonna open up the arms at our side. On the next inhalation, bring the arms backward behind you, stretching wings. And then as you exhale, we're going to round the spine and hug ourselves, crossing right arm over left. Inhale, we open up wide again. Big inhalation all the way. Good. Exhale, crossing left over right and rounding through the spine. Two more times, just like that. Inhale. Exhale, right over left. Inhale, slow movement to give yourself enough time to take a big breath in. Exhale, left over right. Inhale, we open up wide. Hold here as you bring your feet together. Bend that left knee and sinking down into one-legged chair pose. Knees are touching and that right heel is up towards the buttocks and then set it back. Inhale, sweep the arms forwards and up, warrior one. Lower the arms down and we're gonna come right back to standing from here. Use the momentum of the arms, kind of sweep yourself up and back to stand. Take the feet wide, soft knees. Inhale, open up. Exhale, round. Inhale. Opposite arm over. Stretch, open. And closing in on the exhalation. Stretch open. In on the exhalation. And then opening up here and holding, take the feet together, shift the weight onto that right foot and you're gonna bend that knee as you sink down. A variation of chair pose. Heel is drawn to the buttocks. We're gonna step that foot back, planting the heel down, square up the hips, inhale, the arms come up, warrior one. And use the momentum of the arms to sweep it back up to standing. Inhale, 
open up. Exhale, come together. Expand, big, big breath in. Exhale, bring it in. Beautiful. One more time. Exhale, we're going to slow it down and bring the palms toward one another like you're doing namaste in front of the heart. All one exhalation. So that timing was probably off. So let's try it again. Big breath in. And then exhale continuously, slowly, as you bring the hands together. And then a very quick opening of the arms. Be mindful of the shoulders. Inhale. And then exhale. Exhale is really slow, really controlled. Good. Big breath in and fast, and then a slow controlled exhalation. Weaving in some pranayama, some breathing techniques. Two more. Beautiful, last one. Slow, controlled exhale. And this time, allow your palms to meet. Bring the feet together and coming toward the top of the mat. Inhale, reach up and back. Part the air as you dive down. Stepping it back to downward facing dog. Walking in place a little bit. Arms are strong. Elbows are almost locked. Shoulders rolled up, away from the ears, out of gravity. Come forward, riding that wave. So come up onto the balls of the feet first. Lift through the buttocks. Push forward through the spine. Wave-like motion as you arrive into your plank pose. Drop your left knee down in the middle of the mat. Open up on the inside. We're going to bring the hand right back down to touch. Cross it in front of the heart. Open up one big breath. Exhale, lower. Repeating that a few more times. Every motion you do has a corresponding breath in and a corresponding breath out. Last one. Back to downward facing dog. Exhale with an audible sigh. <sighs> Finding stillness with the feet. First, rise up under the balls of the feet really high. Transfer that weight forward slowly like a wave. Arriving into plank pose. Drop the right knee, opening up into side plank. Inhale, stretching the arms up. And exhale, lowering it right back down. Coordinating movement with the breath. We renounce this rush to get through something. We renounce, we let go of this silly idea that we need to be somewhere in our yoga practice at a certain time. We renounce, we reject the false idea that we are going to arrive late into a movement, that you're going to miss a cue. There's nothing you're going to miss here. There's everything to gain. Moving with awareness back to downward facing dog on the next exhalation, walking in place. Good. Try to find that wave again. We start on the balls of the feet, lifting high. The butt follows, the hips follows, and then we round through the spine, nice and slow. Inhaling to plank pose. Exhale, bend the knees, push back. And let's try that again. First, lifting. We're trying to find as much flexibility through the spine as we can. And for most of us, that'll take 
several months of consistent work to undo tension from sitting in chairs, from sitting in the car. And this is a great building block to start to build that flexibility in the spinal column. Down dog waves. Couple more. Take your time inhaling as you go forward. Beautiful. Exhale as you push back. Last one together. And back to downward facing dog. Walk your feet slowly toward the top of the mat and then fold into the body. Soften the knees and let's rise all the way up. Inhale, reaching. Beautiful. And then bringing the thumbs up front of the face and finally to the heart. Next round. On the inhale, reach forward and open. And exhale, sinking and shifting your weight onto that left leg as you sink into chair pose. So it's just like chair, imagining both feet were down, but we've shifted the weight just into that left leg. Staying here is an option. Or let's lean forward, and as we do that, extend that back leg. Try to level the hips with the ground. So your right hip's gonna wanna fly up on you. But try to, if you had a headlight on that right hip, try to shine that headlight straight down. The earth beneath you, good. Arms are open like an airplane or at the heart. Breathing. Bend that supporting leg, step back, warrior one on the inhalation. Sweep the arms down, slowly arriving back at the top of the mat, hands into namaste. Inhale, reach forward, opening. Shift the weight, exhale, sinking. Conscientiously extend, feel as you extend that leg back, as you dip forward, leveling the hip, feel everything that's taking place here. Don't block any of it. Where's the breath? Find it again, bring it back into this moment. Bend the standing leg, drop the foot to the earth, inhale, reach your arms up overhead, good. And then we'll use the momentum again to help us arrive at the top of the mat back into namaste. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, diving into forward fold, Uttanasana, hanging out here for a moment. Relax the back of your neck, maybe grabbing a hold of the legs and very softly inviting the body closer. Again, shoulders rolled up out of gravity. Place the hands on the mat, step back to your downward facing dog, and moving once again through our down dog waves. Inhale, lift through the tailbone, rolling forward, exhale, pushing back. Inhale, one continuous inhale, all the way forward to your plank, then exhale back, good. Find a rhythm that works for you. Once you have it, once it starts to feel fluid for you, close your eyes. Drop the awareness inward. Perfect, let's do three more. Big breath in, fill your lungs. Paying attention to the back half of your rib cage as the lungs expand and push into the ribs. Last one. Sinking back into child's pose for a moment of rest, a moment to feel. <sighs> On the inhalation, let's slowly rise up into the tabletop. Your left knee is down. Let's open up to the right again. Inhale and then exhale, lower the hand. To make this more challenging, hover that back leg. If 
we set down the notion of rushing. Now we begin to trust that this internal rhythm of breath and movement is enough and it is the perfect speed for us. Beautiful. Last one, and hold the arm up overhead the next time you get there. Staying here is an option, or reach back, find that foot, connect, and then inhale, open everything up. Stretching heart forward, hand back, breathing. Looking down at the top of the mat, release the foot. We're gonna swing it around, plant it on the earth. Reaching forward as you exhale. Inhale, we open up. Bring the thumbs in towards the armpits and then push forward. Exhale. Opening up. Ujjayi Pranayama. If you haven't yet already, bring that ocean sounding breath into the practice. Last one. Hands to the earth. Four down dog, flows, inhale up. Exhale back. Inhale, wave through the body. Exhale back. Two more. Last one. Setting that right knee down. Opening up to the left wall. Inhale, arm comes up. Exhale, lower. And moving through the wave-like motion with your arm like it's a giant eagle wing. Slow and steady. Last one. Hold it here. Lift that back leg up. Beautiful. Staying here is an option. Or reach back. Find that foot on the inhalation. Find space here. Looking down at the top of the mat. Release the foot. Swing it around. Square up the hips. As you exhale, lean forward. Bring the arms forward as well. And then inhale like your parting curtains. Open it up. Bring the thumbs in towards the armpits and then exhale, push forward. Good. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Hands to the earth. Exhale, back, downward facing dog. And as you begin your next inhale, bend the knees, lift up, roll forward into that plank. Exhale, bend the knees, take it back. Two more. Full inhalation, full exhale, last one. And bending the knees, walking to the top of the mat. Exhale, full, then you get there. Grab a hold of the backs of your legs and exhale. See if it's possible to pull yourself a little bit deeper. Shoulders rolled up out of gravity. Bend the knees. Inhale it slowly rise all the way up. Palms unite and exhale, bring it right into the heart center. We're gonna step to the top of the mat and then turn 180 so that you are facing the side of your mat, taking a wide angle stance. On the inhalation, I'm going to pivot the hands and allow your right fingers to point toward the left elbow and your bottom left hand fingers point to the right elbow like you're smashing a pancake or a sandwich together. Connecting that breath and movement. On the inhalation, we begin to lift top and bottom hand apart from one another. And exhale, we come back together. 
hands just about touch and then flip that. Inhale, left arm up, right hand on the bottom, stretching big, and then exhale. Switch. Right hand on top, left hand on bottom, inhale, expanding, reaching. Exhale. There's enough time for you to move and breathe. I promise you, you just have to slow down the motion a little bit. Give yourself that permission to expand the breath further than you thought possible. Feel your fingers cutting through the molecules of air. Become aware of this motion as simple as it is. This is the meditation and motion we're looking for. Last one. Uniting your palms together, thumbs at the heart center. Staying focused on your breathing. Allowing your eyes to open a little bit. You're diving down, pointing the toes straight ahead. Take your right hand to the floor or the brick. Inhale, elongate, and then we're gonna twist to our left. Bring that hand up to the air. It should help to cool your body. The spinal twists also give us a sense of balance, emotionally, mentally, and physically. If looking up bothers the neck, no worries, just look down. One more deep breath in. On the exhalation, slowly lower. Placing the left hand underneath, elongate, tailbone to crown, and then on an exhale, twist. Right arm up. Looking up feels okay. Gaze up at the thumb. If not, looking down is fine. Enjoying the benefits of the twist. Good. And then on the next exhalation, slowly lower. Hands to the floor. Bend the knees. Hands to the waist. And with a flat back, slowly rise all the way back up. Inhale, reach open. Exhale, bring it in right over left. Round the spine. Inhale, open, just like we started. Left over right, round the spine. One more time, inhale, open. And arriving, thumbs and palms uniting at the heart. Walking the feet together, heel, toe, heel, toe. thanking yourself for the practice. And I thank you as well. Namaste. See you next time.